Ooh, they come out really weird. Hi guys! So this video is another Primark haul. Don't think it's a surprise that it's another haul. Never mind another Primark haul. But I think it is a sure sign that I personally have a problem and I spend way too much money in Primark. I do. You think I'd have enough clothes now with the amount of hauls I'm doing? But I don't. So this one is quite a big one, but it's not too big. Most of the stuff I bought is so I can wear them to work and stuff, because I have got a new job, so I did, I think, a new job means new clothes. Because, well, I can't wear what I was wearing to my old job to this new job. There's, like, different dress codes, I've got to be smarter, I can't wear, like, this rock t-shirt, say an ACDC, DC, or I could, but we're not that good. So I've just got uh, this big bag of stuff and it's going to be another try on haul because as I said before I personally prefer to watch try on hauls so I like to see how the clothes fit but obviously now everyone's bodies are different so yeah let's get to the goodies. So the first thing I'm going to show you is actually the t-shirt that I am wearing now. It is just a pale pink t-shirt and I'm going to see if I can show you in this. Ooh, am I still in focus? It's just like an AC DC top. It's, I bought it in a size 18 and it just has like lace trim on the bottom. So I bought it in a size 18 because I wanted it to be really big and baggy on me and so I can also wear it as a dress if preferred. So I've just got this and I think this was about £8, £10. Also I'm not 100% sure on all of the prices because I have worn quite a lot of the items and ripped off the tags. So please if I give you the wrong price don't kill me. I'm sorry. The next thing I got is something I have been living in since I bought it. And it's just this. It's just a simple black t-shirt that says Iron Maiden with all rips in it. And it's just short sleeved. And I bought mine in a large. It is from the men's section. So it is massive so I can wear it once again. Really baggy and has a dress. I will say that if you do want to do Iron Maiden and wear them as dresses, do wear like really shorts underneath and stuff. Because otherwise when you go like this, everything is on show. <laughs> Oh, quite a lot of the stuff I got is inside out. So I picked up this top. This is just a pale pink, like, what kind of material is it? It's not silk. So it's either really soft, silky material that's not silk. What is that? <laughs> With like three quarter floaty sleeves. I love these sleeves. And it just has a little split at the back. And I think this was about £8 as well. And I just bought mine in a size 8. I do think I should have bought it in a 10 though. Just because on the top off at the arms by here. They are quite tight. And I prefer myself to be quite loose. So either way I love it. It's perfect for spring. Then I also picked up these trousers. I bought these especially for work because I would, but then I could wear these ones out really. So they are just like a little fasten up buttoned, long legged, like slim fit trousers and they do make your butt look great by the way. I would like to point that out. These trousers make your butt look fabulous. But they're just black with like a pale pink little floral print all over. I thought that blouse before would look really nice with it with like some little pale pink shoes. And these, I think I've got the tags on them. Nope. I think these were £10, these ones. Once again, another item with pale pink things on. Can you see a theme? I'm really into pale pink at the minute. I don't know why, I've just fallen back in love with the colour. But it's, I've just picked up these. They look so small when you look at them on camera like this. Like these are a size 8 and they look like a 
a four. But these are just leggings. They're just simple leggings for the gym. These were eight pounds. And they're just long legged and black with a, well no they're not black, they're like a blacky grey. And they have a like star kind of metric design on them in pale pink. And I think these are really nice for the gym because I used to go to the gym a little bit and then I stopped. And basically I need to stop going again. <laughs> like I do kind of miss it, like I do sort of like working out and I, I do like doing classes. So I'm getting back into the gym because I want to be one of those people that's really fit and looks really healthy and is healthy and that likes to go to the gyms and when someone's like, oh yeah, let's go for a run. It's like, yeah, no, instead of let's go for a run, I'm like, huh, no, please. Because I am really lazy and I need to change my ways. <laughs> So matching the bottoms, I bought this. This is just a pale pink, surprise, surprise, vest top. It's for the gym and it has a little zip on the booby bit. I'm not sure why you would be at the gym and you'd be like, you know what, Shh. I want to flash you my tits. But yeah, and this was five pounds. And I think for five pounds, this is lovely. So it is just kind of like a cross back and everything. Well, racer back, not cross back. It's a really nice material and I just think it's really cute. Back to trousers. I picked up these ones. Ooh. And I'm guessing you can see by the little red mark they were in the sale. I liked these when they was full price but I saw they was £3 and I had to buy them. Basically they were long legged again and they're a burgundy and pale blue like Moroccan print I'd say, I don't know, they remind me quite Marrakeshi and they're just ones that does up like leggings with a zip on the sides and I just thought they'd be really nice for work or just to wear with like a baggy black top or something in the same style as those lost trousers I also picked up these these are still inside out and I'm going to keep them inside out because they're the same colour they've still got the zip on the side and stuff, they're just a pale grey shade and they are lovely and I've worn these quite a lot and they're so comfortable and they do also make your butt look great. And I think these were £7. So another pair of trousers are just these ones. These are just black ones and the ones you do up in the front with some zips. And I think these were about £10, I can't really remember. But they're long legs and they do have like a seam going down the middle on the outside which I really like. And these are once again a comfy pair of trousers that make your bum look fab. I've just realised most of the trousers I've bought for my new job make my butt look fab. It's not really a bad thing, but it's not the type of thing I look for in a pair of trousers. <laughs> well, there is a normal day trousers, like who wants a flat butt? So I'm going to keep to the trousers and I think these are the last pair. I'll show you these ones. These ones were £7 and they're the same style as the grey ones and the ones I bought on the sale. And they're just like this. They're just like a dark navy blue and the zip on the side again, long legged with a little like seam in the front of the legs and yeah, just basic. I like these as well, they're kind of like jeans but they're not jeans. I then picked up this top which I believe was £8. This is just a black and white check print. It's like, it does up at the top and then you put your arms through these little holes and you have the front like frill, frill, ruffle over the front. I really like this and I bought this one in a size 10 and I think it was £8. Could have been £10 or £12. I'm not 100% sure. I also picked up these booties. These are just a simple pair of black suede angle boots pointed toe with a little bit of metal detail in. And I got these in the sale for £4. And that is the only reason I bought them was because they was £4 and I don't have a pair of plain black ankle boots. All of mine are like detailed and stuff where they have a lot higher heel. So I just picked up these and they are a little bit tight on the toes because obviously they haven't been broken in or anything. But for £4 you can't really go wrong. Another gym top. This one is just plain black back. 
plain black and his eraser back and I think this was £5 as well, I'm not sure. I have already got one of these but I couldn't find it so I bought another one and typical after I bought it I found the old one. But what are you going to do? At least I now I have a backup. I also picked up these shoes. I love these shoes. They're like, oh, what's the, is it the Chloe knockoffs or something? Basically, they're a branded knockoff version. And I also know the office sells a pair, like, identical to these, and they're expensive. They're like 60 odd quid. These cost me, I think, £10. And I'll admit, they're not the comfiest on the back of the ankle. I do have to really break these in for them to be comfy. But they look lovely, and they're comfy everywhere else. Oh. I also picked up these shoes, which I believe were eight pound. Once again, black. These are like a soft faux leather with, like, if you look at these backs, you just fold them down. They're super soft, which means they are super comfortable. And I think these were eight pounds. And these are honestly really, really comfy. Like, I recommend picking up a pair because they look really nice on as well. I think if these were a pointed toe, they would be my dream shoe. Also got some face wipes because. I always buy a pack of face wipes when I'm in Primark. They are just my favourite face wipes and I don't actually clean my face very well. I just use makeup wipes to take on, like off my makeup. So, yeah. This was a two pack. I just used the one. I picked up this skirt. I saw this in the store and I thought it was really cute because it's like a pale pink. Surprise with black stripes and it's, I thought it was an A-line skirt but it's actually more like a bodycon one and this was £8 but I'm not sure how I feel about her on because I'm not a fan of bodycon stuff because I'm not like confident enough to wear it so I'm not sure if this is going to be going back or if I'm going to try and make it work but it's just super cute and I do love it and oh, I'm hoping I feel comfortable in it I also got this which is the same as the black and white check shirt with the ruffle but in white and this was £8 so yeah the other one was £8 as well. I also got this t-shirt in a black and white checked print. It is again like a three quarter sleeve with a little ruffle. I love these detailings on the sleeves. These are, I don't know why I'm just really into it. I like the floatiness but it's just a basic t-shirt. I think this was £8 as well, but I really love this on, like it's so comfortable. Bought a basic midi skirt. This is just grey, a basic midi skirt, cost me £4.50. Never had a midi skirt before, usually I think they look like they cut me off, but I know people are shorter than me and they can pull them off really well. So I'm going to try and make it work because I do love the midi style. And I think for £4.50 you can't really go wrong. I did want them in black as well but the smallest size they had was a 12. And obviously they're meant to be quite tight and it just wouldn't, sadly. Once again a grey skirt. I got this. I think it was about last year I picked up a pale pink version of this and it's just one of those midi skirts, I said I'm trying to make them work, with pleats and I bought this in the grey, it's like a grey mall and it was £8 and like I do love this but it sits weird on me but I do love it. I think with a baggy t-shirt it'd be quite nice. The last things I bought were two pairs of shoes and they're both in a pale pink colour. I think I have a problem and I need to stop. But the first ones are these. So these are just a pale pink like little mid heel. I want to say it's barely a mid heel. In like a really soft leather and to me with a rounded toe. To me they are like a proper granny shoe. But I love the fact they're a granny shoe. Like I just adore them. Or they're something you'd probably see in Greece. And then the last shoes I bought were these. These are just a 
pale pink, but they're like a proper pale pink, they're like a dusty pale pink. Like shoe, they're like a loafer with a little tassel in a full foot four. They are in a size four, but in a faux leather. And they just got like a gum sole and stuff. I think these are really nice and basic. I feel like everyone needs a loafer in their wardrobe, and I'm not even like a pump or loafer girl. But I think everyone needs a pair like this in their wardrobe. So that's everything I got today. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment. And then I'll see you next time.